How do you give acknowledgement to the entrepreneurial community within us? I mean, you must have everybody coming to your family, therefore to you, to seek investment um, capital. So how, how do you carve a niche for the entrepreneurial class? <clears throat> I would say this is similar to any question about diversity. Um, and as women, uh, you know, we're double winners. There's nothing that can substitute excellence, period. You can be super cute. You can be very charismatic. You can have a lot of uh, sales skills. You can have the greatest idea ever. You can be a total genius. However, the, the broad spectrum in being a founder or being great at anything is the dedication to excellence. And I, I like to... I like to think about people who play sports, which I am not one of them. Uh, but I like to think about them because when they're interviewed after winning a championship, they don't say things like, well, I just kind of practiced on the weekends or I just got really lucky. No, they work their tails off. They, they lose more than they win. And it's that constant dedication to themselves, the commitment to their team, uh, which leads them to, to championships. And whether it is a founder or a fund manager, which congratulations, we're very excited to have you as a, as a fund manager. Thank you. Thank you. Watch out. Yep. Silicon what? Here, nope. <laughs> Don't need to be in Silicon Valley to find the winners. I think we've proven that already. Yeah. Uh, so the, the bottom line is um, I, don't, I don't believe in any kind of affirmative action. I believe that if you're great, you're going to rise to the top. And what I'm going to make sure of is that there is no bias because of where you're from, who you're in love with, or any of those other things that I don't really give a crap about because we're in business for business. So excellence is about, in our case, making money. Now, I know that there are the inherent biases that exist. So I will make sure that there's an extra hard look at anybody that doesn't look like the traditional old school mold.